Oh, that one. <laughs> My grandma gave me that ball. <laughs> I was never good at shooting. I could play basketball. I consider myself one of the most underrated point guards from the South Side Boys Club. Never claimed to be an elite player. I would leave that up to Bubba, Uba, the Monroes, and Edmonds. I was just a competitor trying to keep up with the Gomes and the Anthonys and McBrides, with never really a scorer unless called upon. But I found my niche, defense. I remember going to the gym and looking at the stats. Eight weeks into the basketball league, and I tried my best to be on the top 10 scoring list. Billy Lee, Abdul Evans, Tony Monroe, Craig Anthony, John Lofton, Kevin McBride, and Jeff Edmonds, Kobe Dennis, Neil Magnum, and Mike Nance. Again, I wasn't known for being a scorer. The way the system works is that in order to play in the All-Star game, your scoring average got to be in the mid-20s. And again, my niche was defense. In order to stay on the court, you better learn to accept the role as a team player. There's only one ball and four wannabe scorers on the floor. Somebody has to play defense. You can't force anyone to run back and, and prevent a blowout. I was that player, running back. See, defense makes you aware of what's to come. Is he left-handed? Does he have a mid-range jumper? Does he look for an open man? Am I capable of cutting him off? Is he bigger than me? Quicker than me? Will I have help on defense? Can we afford to foul him? How many fouls does he have? And this is the mindset of a defensive player. In this mindset, defense prepares you for what's to come. What life is going to throw at you. What's going to be disruptive. What's going to be the new obstacle. Police brutality, racial profiling, discrimination, laid off. Life becomes so defensive because the world views you some type of way. It's like looking at the scoreboard, being up 20 points, and the defense becomes so lackadaisical. We don't have the luxury to stop playing defense, no matter what the scoreboard says. It took my wife to show me how to play offense. She looked at my credit scores and questioned it. She said to me, from now on, I'm your point guard, and I'll assist you with a better scoring average. Let's start with paying off that repossession in 1990. Your income tax should cover it. It's an expensive assist, but at the end of the day, you'll have the highest score in the game. While the clock was ticking, she called a timeout and drew up another game plan. Let's buy some property. As a defensive player, I automatically kicked that thought out so they can take it. I'm not going to put myself in a position to get laughed at. I've never been posterized by anybody else, and I damn sure ain't gonna get posterized by the system. She said to me, I'm not asking you to stop playing defense. I'm asking you, no, I'm telling you to shoot the ball. On offense, you have room to build. You look at the floor and plan your next move. You make a decision and hold your position. Let your opponent see how versatile you are on both ends of the court. And don't worry about missing the shot. Not every basket is made. Regardless of what may happen, I'll help you play defense, and I'll make sure you won't file out the game. A newly found business, and a couple of houses later, I no longer worry about being a top 10 scorer to make the all-star team. I just try my best to get more black folks to score and shoot the ball so we can all be on the same score list. Yeah. 750, baby.